There is no question we are at war once again, and this first phase is to take out Gaddafi's air defenses. Throughout the night, the U.S. pounded Libya. The strikes began with more than 110 Tomahawk missiles launched mostly from U.S. ships and submarines, aiming at more than 20 targets, including surface-to-air missile sites. And this morning, reports that the U.S. took out a major Libyan airfield using B-2 bombers flown from a base in the U.S. The ship-launched missiles were fired from some 500 miles away in the Mediterranean Sea, hitting Libyan soil an hour later. These strikes were carefully coordinated with our coalition partners. Before the Tomahawks were launched, 20 French fighter jets flew over rebel-held Benghazi in a show of force, taking out one Libyan armored personnel carrier. But Muammar Gaddafi remains defiant, calling into state TV to say if the U.S. wants a long war, they will get it. He gathered supporters, including women and children, around his compound and other key targets, essentially forming a human shield. In the coming days and hours, the strikes will expand beyond Tripoli to hit air defenses in Misrata and Sirte. There will be no strikes east of Sirte, where the rebels are in control. I want to stress, however, that this is just the first phase of what will likely be a multi-phased military operation designed to enforce the United Nations resolution. The next phase will be the no-fly zone, which will be over Tripoli and rebel-held Benghazi, an operation that will involve hundreds of aircraft. U.S. F-16s will likely take part, but most of the fighter jets will be from Britain, France, and other allied partners. The U.S. will provide support aircraft, like air refuelers and communications aircraft. And a little bit about uh, those B-2 strikes. There were four B-2 bombers used. Each dropped 16 bombs. They've also been able to hit mobile surface-to-air missile sites in Libya, and they believe they can have a presence already over Benghazi. Dan and Biana. Martha, to put a fine point on this, we are essentially taking sides in a civil war here, backing the rebels. What do we do if the rebels start behaving irresponsibly? Well, it's a, it's a great question, Dan, and one I'm not sure they really have an answer for at this point. Many officers I have talked to say they are watching that very closely. They're watching how Gaddafi responds. You saw a little bit of that this morning, rather defiantly. But they're also watching the rebels, because that's a complicated question. What do they do? For example, they don't have forward air controllers on the ground. They don't know exactly where to drop bombs. And this is very specific it's very hard to find sides sometimes in a civil war you don't really know who the good guy is and who the bad guy is and they're not sure who all these rebels are they're not sure who they're backing in many places